Welcome to Halt Elite NSP Training Part 65. This training tutorial, we're going to be taking a look working with our drive-by wire setup and programming. So we have a lot of things to cover, details for the wiring, details for the configuration and calibration process, and then how we can go about working within the programming for drive-by wire control. A lot to cover. Let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our drive-by wire throttle control using our Haltech Elite and our NSP software. Now the setup and configuration of our drive-by wire couldn't be any simpler with a Haltech system. We don't need to know any kind of PID programming within the control for drive-by wire, such as other standalones have. The setup and configuration can be done in a few minutes. As long as you've wired everything into the Elite, it is very simplistic to get going with drive-by wire. Now there's tons of benefits to drive-by wire over a cable throttle body, and there really isn't any downsides other than a little bit increased cost if you're retrofitting drive-by wire to a cable-driven uh, vehicle and cable-driven engine. There's gonna be the cost of the pedal assembly and the actual uh, throttle body itself, but minimal cost to be able to get a lot of benefits out of drive-by wire control. So you have better idle control, with drive-by wire. We have the ability to tailor and taper the pedal plate relationship so we can change the way the engine response feels as we're driving. We can have multiple different stages of response or different levels of pedal engagement, pedal and plate engagement. And then we can also use it to tailor the engine's horsepower output. For example, if you have a power to weight ratio class that you're racing your vehicle in, you can go in and actually reduce at high engine speeds the throttle plate opening in order to make less horsepower on the top end to meet your power to weight class rules, but still have the good low and mid range torque output out of the engine, having that plate fully open when you'd like it to, in order to tailor your power band to the class that you're racing in. So you get a lot of advantages here when you're going drive by wire. You can also integrate for traction control purposes or engine fail safe purposes. So you can actually go ahead and have a soft limiter where you close the throttle down to something like 10 or 20%. So the vehicle can still move, it's in a limp mode, but you're not hitting a rev limiter, which is softer and easier on the engine. That would be for a fail safe and engine safety. Um, if you're talking about traction control, you can roll the throttle back or you can control the throttle in a way that it's essentially providing a soft limiter. Instead of hitting an actual cut for fuel and ignition, you can roll that throttle, back, throttle, blade, throttle body back and control your torque output of your engine that way. So there's lots of different advantages to drive by wire and really, again, no disadvantages other than if you're retrofitting a pedal plate to your vehicle that's cable driven, there is that additional cost and a little bit of wiring, but it is incredibly simple as we're gonna find here in this tutorial. Let's jump in and take a look at how we're gonna configure our drive by wire first, and then we'll go through the wiring details. Again, super easy to, to set up and configure, but there are some details that we need to pay attention to. Let's take a look. We're gonna move here from our fuel page and we're gonna go over here into our main. Under main, we're gonna go over here into the navigation tree, expand this out here. We're gonna go into engine functions. In here, we're gonna turn on the drive-by wire control. Now, one thing I wanna mention is that if you have a cable-driven throttle body setup already configured with the Elite, you will need to go under sensors here, under throttle position, and make sure you turn that throttle position sensor off for a cable throttle body. You can assign a cable throttle position sensor and a drive-by wire throttle position sensors as we're gonna find. There's gonna be conflicting air there. It's gonna give you some problems. I've already turned that off on my vehicle because my vehicle was cable driven when I set everything up with the Elite. So now I've taken off the cable assembly and I put on this drive-by wire parts and I made sure that I turned that off. So I wanted to mention that before we move any further. Let's jump in here to engine functions. Now we're gonna turn on this drive-by wire control, which is found in this other section at the very top under drive-by wire throttle body. If we toggle this on, it's gonna give us a warning message, essentially saying that there's potential danger that could happen here. We need to make sure that we go in and we configure things properly because we don't want a runaway throttle situation where if we're opening the throttle and we're coming off the throttle, the throttle sticks and essentially you can't stop the vehicle from accelerating other than shutting power down to the vehicle. They just wanna make sure you're aware that there's safety things that need to be uh, taken in place here. Um, brakes, a brake switch input is one thing. Um, there's also a vehicle speed that we can also integrate uh, to make sure that we have some fail safes set up and configured here. But the brake switch is gonna be one of those big ones where if you get a runaway throttle, if you hit the brake pedal, which you would trying to slow down the vehicle, it will limit the throttle down and close it 
and we can talk about that here in just a little bit, but just gives you this warning message. I'm gonna say don't show again. I'll say accept here, so it accepts that change. Now we do need to do a reboot here. We'll still do a reboot. And we need to go down here and configure a few things. Now, as we talked about already in our drive-by-wire idle control tutorial, you wanna make sure that you're setting your drive-by-wire to your idle control here to drive-by-wire. The drive-by-wire max position here, this is the maximum it'll allow the throttle plate to open within the idle control routine for drive-by-wire. This is gonna vary per engine, but 10%, 15% is usually going to be a good starting point for any engine. If you're dealing with something like an LS engine with a big cam, you might even have to bump this up to something like 20 or 30 just to get the engine to idle and calm down um, and not stall out. So it's kind of relative to the engine you're dealing with here. I'm gonna leave it at 10 right now because I'm just concerned about the setup, but we do- Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here, and you don't wanna miss any of the videos we're gonna be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.